probably over the last year is uh, finalizing some of the uh, FEMA uh, projects that we had in place and they started to proceed, such as our buildings here in St. Tammany Parish, our school buildings, our own public buildings that we own in parish government. Well, our school system, you know, it's not under our direct supervision, but we work very closely with them. Uh, and we've seen great progress there in Salmon High School I actually graduated from. So it was refreshing to see uh, the construction going on, the mitigation, uh, and they had worked with FEMA on the rebuilding of that. So uh, I still live close there, so I go by there to check on it from time to time, and uh, it's looking very, very good. Brock, same thing, uh, same kind of problems and issues, uh, totally flooded, um, mitigation issues, and they're in uh, construction of that. It was previously owned by private sector and they had called it the Towers Building. It's the only six-story office building uh, in the parish. Uh, but people see it and it's a very positive sign for them in their own neighborhoods to see that the local government is rebuilding major uh, buildings of that magnitude, which will have employees once we move in probably in another six to eight months, um, anywhere from two to three hundred. So that's always good for the local economy in that general area. We've been on a basically a four-year journey. Uh, and since the change of regime at FEMA, of the local uh, authority that was here, uh, I've seen huge progress. Uh, we have settled a lot of our former uh, appeals uh, in the favor of the city. Basically, uh, the city government's been in FEMA trailers for the last four years. Uh, so what we're now doing is uh, we're getting close to being able to transition out of those trailers into, into new buildings. And so building number one is going to take about 25% of our employees that were displaced uh, and put them into permanent structures. Uh, building two will take the remaining uh, and we should be out for bid for that. Uh, I would think uh, end of uh, August first of September. The auditorium is the same way. March is when we're looking at taking it down. Uh, and March of 2010 uh, should be the, the completion date there. So I would think and hope that we'll be able to go out for bids uh, at the end of the month uh, for the Senior Citizen Center. We also have to demolish that building. We had a large population of seniors that utilized that facility. Uh, and they've been displaced now for four years. 2010 uh, should be the Katrina's final chapter, uh, and I certainly look forward to that.